Hello, my friend. How are you today? Thank you for joining me on this, this episode of Postures of Life. My name is Aaron Suzurik. I'm a yoga instructor. I teach at a public facility in, in Niles Girard area of Ohio called the Yoga Room at a nursing home and I teach at a rehab facility as well. So, thank you. Postures of life are meant to be kind of a segue, a, a connection, a bridge between the practice on the mat and the practice of living life in general. Because oftentimes we have a way of separating experiences, but I find that all experiences are very interrelated and they can aid in understanding other experiences. So one great advantage of practicing yoga postures or yoga breathing practices, meditation as well, if we delve deep enough into the experience of those postures as well as our experiences in everyday life, we'll find a connection. For instance, the posture I would like to talk about today is John Yu Sirsasana, or head to knee pose. And it's about moving into the present. So I also have an affirmation, I move into the present, to kind of help connect us on a deeper level both mind and body connection, because as we can connect our body to our mind and unite it, unite these seemingly two different parts of us together, we find how much we are connected, not just in our body and mind, but in other ways in the world and to other people. So learning about connection is always a good thing, always a healthy thing, and can help us further our, our desire to find happiness and joy in life as connection to feel part of a greater, a greater being, a greater world around us is part of that health and happiness. It makes us feel stable, grounded, and okay with who we are and what we're about. Because just as there are many body parts within ourselves that have different functions, so are we like within the world around us. We are very important. We have a very unique function. But we are connected and we are part as well. So that connection will always be something we yearn to feel at a deeper level because this is what we are made to do. So, moving into the present, moving to the activity, as it were, that we're going to be discussing in this week's episode, I would like to first invite you to bring moving into the present in the forefront of your intention the forefront of your consciousness as we begin to move into this pose. So, what we'll do first for the physical movements is to just get onto our bottoms, however we feel most comfortable in doing so. And once you're on your bottom, go ahead and straighten your legs out before you. So, as we are here, we will begin to explore the movement deeper. So, bending the left leg, bringing that sole into the inner right thigh. What we'll do here is we'll just breathe the arms up. Breathe the arms up like so, taking an inhale, nice and deep, nice straight spine. And then as we exhale, we'll go ahead and hinge at those hips and we'll fold forward to our own degree. 
Or you may reach that toe, or you might even go further, or you might not be quite as able to, and that is fine. You just explore and see where the movement takes you, and just enjoy it for what it is. Don't push yourself too hard. Be compassionate. Be mindful. Try to maintain a straight back here and feel the fold in the hip area. So, as we are here, I offer the affirmation to help us concentrate and focus our attention, our awareness on moving into the present moment. I move into the present. I move into the present. I move into the present. And when you're ready, when you're satisfied with this, go ahead and just allow your hands to release. Allow yourself to come up to a nice, straight, kind of neutral sitting back position. Straighten that left leg out before you. Go ahead and bend that right leg and bring the right sole into the inner left thigh balancing out this posture. It's always important to maintain a balance in yoga practice. It's all about that balance and that harmony, and through that harmony is where we do feel that connectivity. So, breathing our arms up like so, framing the head. Go ahead, take an exhale. As you do so, hinge at the hips and fold forward toward that outstretched foot and come down to your own degree, whatever that means for you. Easy breath in, easy breath out. I move into the present. I move into the present. I move into the present. And when you are ready, come back up to that nice neutral sitting spine. Go ahead and Straighten both legs out before you like so. I like this position very much. Helps me relax my legs. Helps me concentrate on a nice straight back. As I'm kind of asked to support myself with my spine, independent of anything kind of assisting me and propping me up. If you ever do get tired here, you can, of course, Put your hands down beside you. Fingers kind of pointing back tends to help me um, straighten in this posture even more so. But that is another episode, of course. So thank you so much for joining me here today, for practicing with me. Um, as a final note, I wish to, to also make the connection to the last movement, the, the last episode's movement that we did, which was easy seated twist. So just to demonstrate this briefly in connecting the two movements, we'll go ahead and bend that left leg once again, sole into inner thigh, breathe the arms up like so, and then as we exhale, we'll twist to the left, right hand to the left knee looking behind us, saying the affirmation, if you do wish, I leave the past behind me, I leave the past behind me, I leave the past behind me. And then when you're ready, untwisting forward, and as we come back forward, breathing the arms up again, and exhaling, folding forward over that outstretched leg, easy breath in, Easy breath out. I move into the present. I move into the present. I move into the present. And when you are ready, rising back up, taking time to straighten the legs and to bend that other leg, bringing that other soul into the inner thigh area. Breathing the arms up and exhaling, twisting to the right left hand, right knee, and right arm behind us, looking backwards, 
I leave my past behind me. I leave my past behind me. I leave my past behind me. When you're ready, coming back forward, I'm twisting, breathing those arms up once again, and then exhaling, folding forward, hinging at the hips, coming down to our own degree. I move into the present. I move into the present. I move into the present. And when you're ready, coming back up to that nice neutral spine. And I just wanted to make sure I connected those movements for you to give you an idea of how we can purge sort of our attachments to something that might be blocking us from moving into the present by that twist and by affirming that we are leaving our past behind us and then folding forward, moving into the present, having a kind of a positive direction off the bat by having that cleanse beforehand. It's very important to kind of start off on the right foot, as it were, when embarking in positive practices practices meant to develop us in a direction of health and growth and positivity. So thank you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Peace, love, God bless, namaste to you. And of course, my hope and my prayer is that you feel a deeper sense of love and connection and that you're able to just bring that to others around you as you embark on your journey throughout the day and whatever it might bring in subtle and, and more, more energetic, more, more um, overt ways, as it were, conversations, interactions, but also just in the subtle ways that you walk through a space and that others see you and that you look at others, these can also carry with them a powerful positive energy or of the other sort. So we don't have to be concerned about changing the world necessarily, just changing ourselves in our own disposition. And the rest will follow as long as we are happy and healthy. The rest will follow. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. God bless you. Namaste.